here we are. This is the uh, Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife and Road Crew dumping pit. So I came here today to do some round testing. Took and I moved this dough over here. And I wanna see what the difference in the impact is from my 220 grain Lehigh Defense Extreme Penetrator and uh, a uh, Hornady FTX. The Extreme Penetrators are moving about 25, 51 feet per second, and then the FTX rounds are moving about 2800, 2875. All right, so this first shot, about 30 yards out, I'm gonna shoot the 220 grain Extreme Penetrator through this deer. The second shot will be the Hornady FTX round. <sighs> All right, this is a pretty ripe deer, I'm telling you. Well, we got two shots. Lower one there is the extreme penetrator, and this upper one there is the uh, the FTX round. <sighs> got to open this thing up. <laughs> see uh let's see what they did right after cutting it in there's the entry one from the extreme penetrator and then there's the ftx round so those are the entries i'll turn it over and look at the exit wounds okay looking at the exit wound this is the horny ftx round and you can see pieces of the bullet that are uh, visible in the exit wound. It looks like it partially broke a rib coming out. And then the Lehigh Defense Extreme Penetrator probably never slowed going through that. Uh, you know, it looked like the, uh, the FTX obviously dumped a lot more energy right up front there. Um, I don't know that I want to get into the <laughs> into the cavity to see what what happened here. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. At this range, both bullets really had, looks like they did the same exiting. Very interesting. I expected a lot more uh, f uh, flesh damage from that FTX round. And then again on the entry side, still has a big freaking entry hole. <laughs> it dumped a lot of energy early on and uh, was pretty devastating. So I'm torn, you know, if I get a hole like that with a complete pass through, uh, and the Lehigh Defense with their their, their uh, hydrodynamics do a lot of internal injury. It's not evident by the size of the hole, but that's a big hole too. Oh, well, interesting. You know, I really just wanted to see, I haven't shot anything with those FTX rounds. I wanted to see how much flesh damage you're doing, how much meat that I could expect to lose if i choose to use that as a as a hunting round on big game and it definitely does the job but uh there's a significant potential for meat damage but it's a long par it's on par with you with what you would find with like your 30 out six or any of your other you know 300 wind mag any of your other large caliber so it's not outrageous but it is more than the lehigh defense so I suppose it gives me a better idea of what these bullets can do, and uh, I will use them accordingly uh, as I plan for my hunts and my cartridges that I'm going to use on those hunts. I think if I'm doing hunts that tend to be a little bit longer range, 
I'll go with the flatter shooting trajectory of the FTX, knowing that it's going to give me good terminal ballistics uh, um, and less drop than with the uh, the extreme penetrators. But the extreme penetrators have been excellent for me. I've shot four animals with them this year, and <laughs> they've done their job. So, uh, decisions, decisions. What do you think?